The squeeze that's taking place on public uh, spending is going to affect East Sussex County Council in two principal ways. Uh, first of all, a uh, general grant from uh, central government is likely to be cut by some 20-25%. We're, we're not sure yet exactly how much that's going to be. And then the second way uh, that we'll be hit will be probably reductions in the um, special grants that we get from government for transport improvements and for education. And some of that already happened earlier this year. I think we may have to make some cuts. Uh, at the moment we supply some 350 uh, services to the public and for the last 18 months we've been working away because we knew this was coming, whichever government was elected in the general election. And we've been looking very carefully at what we do and how we do things in order to see where we can make additional savings. Uh, we believe we will probably have to cut some services and we've been working to prioritise the things which are most important to the public uh, and so we will not be uh, hitting the vulnerable uh, and we will be trying to continue to do things that improve the prosperity uh, of the county but yes I think we will have to make uh, a number of cuts although there are alternatives and we're working very strongly with our neighbours in Kent and Surrey and Hampshire and West Sussex and Brighton and Medway. Um, to, together we believe that by cooperating in you know, how we uh, maintain our highways, how we do special education needs provision, our IT systems, how we do waste disposal, we think if we can pull those activities together then we can make big savings. I think everybody knows uh, the Chancellor will make an announcement uh, on the 20th of October about the broad uh, picture of, quotes, cuts and um, the three-year plan for finances for this country. But we don't anticipate that we in local government will get the uh, detail of exactly what funding we will get until either December or even into January. So it's probably going to be into the new year before we can um, engage in a discussion with the people of this county. Our priorities in this changed environment are to first of all protect the vulnerable. Uh, they are the most important. The other major concern for us is that we continue to invest uh, in increasing the prosperity of this county so that businesses thrive and jobs are created. And if we can do that then I think we will um, uh, be able to provide a secure future. I think there are opportunities for us to do things very differently internally as well as the cooperation that I talked about with our neighbours. And I think we have to become much more of a commissioning organisation. We don't have to do everything ourselves. We see an opportunity in what is generally referred to as the big society uh, for individuals to play a part in providing services. Um, they can do it um, either within their very narrow, if you like, or tiny locality or else they can do it by getting involved with uh, charitable and voluntary organisations and we'll be very happy to support those individuals and those organisations and sometimes it can work that if we put a bit of money in uh, to those organisations they can uh, provide a service to the public much more effectively than uh, we can. One thing which I think we can reassure the people of East Sussex about is that we're not going to be in the game of putting up council tax. Uh, we will certainly take up the government's offer uh, for a mechanism to freeze council tax next year.